Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. With bright flashing lights and loud sirens, it's exciting, it's exciting to watch a fire, watch a fire truck, truck whiz, whiz past. past. Beep, beep. The big red fire truck races away. know what they carry on a fire truck. Well, there are firefighters on board who carry large hoses. There are lots of different nozzles for the hoses. Ladders that help the firefighters climb buildings. And axes and tools for cutting. There are blue flashing lights and there are red flashing lights. When a fire truck gets to a fire, the intaker sucks up water from a hydrant and the discharger pushes the water through the hose. A hard suction hose can suck water from a pool or lake if there isn't a hydrant around. Now the firefighters can put out the fire with the water. Would you like to be a firefighter when you grow up? It would be fun to ride on a fire truck. Hooroo! Good day, boys and girls. Reggie Roo here. Oh no. What's this? It looks like a dangerous forest fire. There's lots of smoke billowing from the fire. It is getting very close to the houses. Here come some fire trucks. I think they'll need help to put out the fire. Is that a helicopter flying through the smoke? Maybe they can help. The helicopter is lowering down an orange bucket. They're picking up water from the lake. So they can splash it on the forest fire to put it out. The big bucket of water dangles below the helicopter. Some of the water sprays out the side. Another large helicopter has come to help. It's sucking up the water with a big hose. The helicopter now flies over the fire. Smoke is all around it. And it drops all the water on the fire. Then another helicopter drops more water on the fire. Splash! Back and forth they go, collecting and dropping more water. Together, they've put out the fire. Now all the people and their houses are safe. Thank you, firefighting helicopters. Hooroo! Hi, kids. Reggie Roo here. What has a really fast spinning rotor with blades that lift it into the air? A helicopter! Here is a blue helicopter, ready to go on a scenic flight. Can you see the rotor spin? At the tail of the helicopter is the tail rotor. This helps the helicopter stay straight and not spin around and around. And up into the air goes the blue chopper. And away it goes. From up high in the helicopter, you can see down the beautiful beach below. Look at the helicopter fly through the air. Swish, 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 goes the white helicopter as it flies past. Helicopters are very clever. They can land and take off almost anywhere. That's because they can go straight up and down. They can also hover in midair. Wow! Look at that red helicopter spin and then fly away! There are lots of different helicopters. Here is a large yellow medical helicopter hovering. It's like a flying ambulance. It is much bigger than the helicopters we saw before. 
Away flies the big helicopter into the sunset. Uru. Good day, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. I bet you've seen a police car before. With bright flashing lights and a noisy siren. It goes eeyore, 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 eeyore. But did you know there are police four-wheel drives too? And big police vans full of police? There are police bikes that zip around. With flashing lights and whistles, they show important cars the way. There are police boats with blue and yellow checks. And black police boats that patrol the rivers. While there are police helicopters that soar above. and police emergency response trucks that help people in trouble. There are even police horses with helpful police riders wearing bright yellow jackets and blue helmets. For Arsenal tube station, you can enter from the other side and you filter to your right. Clippity-clop, away they go. In there. Special Police Force Truck. Can you think of any other police vehicles? Uru! Hello kids, Reggie Roo here. Today we are looking at ambulances. Hands up if you know what an ambulance looks like. That's right! Ambulances are large vehicles with bright flashing lights and a loud siren. Just like a fire engine or a police car. Ambulances are used to pick up sick or injured people usually in an emergency. They arrive very quickly. Sometimes the police and fire engines help too. They then take the people to hospital. In the hospital, doctors and nurses work to make the people better. Can you say ambulance? It's difficult to say, isn't it? Let's try. Am, bu, lance, ambulance. Very good. Did you know there are even ambulances at the airport? Huru. Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Are there planes that can fly without propellers? Yes, they have powerful jet engines. You may have seen an airplane with jet engines before. Most passenger planes have large jet engines and so do super fast, loud, aerobatic jet fighter planes. Look at it spin. Here are some blue and yellow jets taxiing on a runway. One, two. Three. Four. Blue and yellow jet airplanes. These jets are F-18 Navy jets. 
Can you see their powerful jets at the back? And take off! They fly with great precision. This is called flying in formation. Aren't they impressive? For extra speed, this jet is dumping fuel from the jet engine creating a huge flame called an afterburner. Some jets, like this Harrier jump jet, can take off and land vertically, just like a helicopter. Wow, aren't jets great? Would you like to pilot a fast jet airplane one day? Hooroo! Hello everyone, it's Reggie Roo here. Where do you think all the rubbish and recycling from your bin goes? Well, the rubbish man comes along in a big rubbish truck and takes it all the way to the dump. Look, there goes a noisy rubbish truck. And here's the rubbish man. He looks carefully in both directions before crossing the street. He loads the bin. The truck lifts it up and dumps the rubbish into the compactor. And off he goes to return the empty bin and pick up another one full of rubbish. They're collecting garden waste today. The truck has lots of flashing orange lights. Can you see where the rubbish goes at the back? This is a rear loading rubbish truck. The truck and the rubbish men continue working as a team. Through the streets they go, collecting all the rubbish from the rubbish bins. Wow, this is exciting. The truck reverses up the narrow street. Beep, beep, beep. See the bin get lifted upside down? The rubbish falls into the truck and gets squashed by the compactor. It's fun to watch the rubbish truck go past. Do you ever hear the rubbish truck coming? The whirr of the engine, or the clink clank of the emptying bottles. There are lots of bins to be emptied today. They need two rubbish trucks to collect them all. And away go the truck and the rubbish men in search of more rubbish. Hooroo! Hi everyone, it's Reggie Roo here. We're off to visit a building site today. What's that, boys and girls? That's right, it's a truck. But it's a special type of truck called a grab lorry. A grab lorry is used on building sites to move things. This grab lorry is moving dirt. The arm swings around, the claw opens, and the dirt drops onto the truck. The man is using the controls to move the arm and grab the dirt. Can you see the arm moving? There's a lot of dirt to remove from the building site today. Wow, look at the claw spin around. The driver pats down the dirt. That way, no dirt flies out of the truck when the truck drives off. Crunch, crunch, crunch. He shakes the claw to get all the remaining dirt out. Then he places the arm on top. Now, the grab lorry is ready to drive away. He jumps up into the front to take all the dirt away. They must have picked up a lot of dirt. Do you wish you could grab that much dirt?
Look at the big hole left behind. Uru. Hi, girls and boys. Reggie Roo here. Have you seen a mine before? A mine is a place where machines dig up minerals. There is lots of activity at the mine today. There are excavators digging up coal and a huge yellow dump truck. The yellow dump truck is so big it towers over everything with large wheels and a bed at the back for loading earth. It would be hard to find a bigger truck. This means it can move lots and lots with every load. The bed is empty now. Oops, be careful of the rocks. The enormous excavator scoops up the earth, spins, then opens, dropping the load into the dump truck's bed. The dump truck is now full of rocks and dirt. The bed lifts up, and the load pours out the back. Wow! Do you wish you had a sand pit that big? Huru. Hi girls and boys, Reggie Roo here. Today we're looking at big trucks. Semi-trailer trucks are the kings of the road. They're made up of two parts. The large truck with a powerful engine at the front and a trailer that attaches to the back. The trailer can be loaded with all sorts of things. Grain, food, or even a huge rocket. Here's a small forklift loading the inside of a trailer with boxes. And here is another semi-trailer leaving a wharf. It's full of fresh fish. Semi-trailers drive all over the countryside past mountains, across grassy plains, and over levees. They deliver their goods along the way. These trucks are at a sawmill. And this semi-trailer has been loaded with tree logs. The driver sits very high when controlling the truck. That must be fun. Have you seen a semi-trailer before? They're very big, aren't they? Did you know, in Australia, some really big semi-trailers have several trailers. These are called road trains. One, two, three trailers. Wow, look how long a road train is. Hooroo. <laughs> to see more things that go, Click on the videos above and don't forget to subscribe.